Good afternoon, Steady Trade Treats fans. Energized as usual with some caffeine. I have a new form of caffeine like every time I come on here, so I think that's gonna be my goal going to the end of December. Drink a new form of caffeine for every episode of Steady Trade Treats. Right now we're drinking some bang energy. And you know, as always, staying hydrated. In the meantime, I just wanna, I'm just gonna get right into this because if 2020, really December of 2020 hasn't been hot enough, we had weed, then we had shrooms, then we had Bitcoin, now we've got weed again, then we've got Bitcoin again. I had, I'm literally having to refilm this episode. I made it what, like five minutes ago. Bitcoin is pushing again. I just saw it printing the 19,900 per coin. The all time high, I believe, is 19.95. Oh, man. I think we've got a Bitcoin breakout on our hands. That's what today's episode is about. Because, I mean, it's Bitcoin. It's Bitcoin. We know how hot it can get. We know how hot it did get. This Today feels like 2017 all over again. It's like a rerun of 2017. It's like waking up in the morning and you're like, whoa, where is Bitcoin at? Where is Bitcoin at? Is it going to break out? And... I am stoked. I am I am so happy. Bitcoin is probably my favorite hot sector that I've ever seen just because the runs were nuts, right? Like you would see a stock at like a dollar. A Bitcoin stock went from a dollar to like 60 in a month. And it's because there's just so much hype with Bitcoin, right? I mean, Bitcoin essentially did the same thing. It went from a hundred dollars to like twenty thousand in the course of a year. And it really went from like a thousand to twenty thousand in the course of like two months. And I think what's so interesting about Bitcoin now is that it doesn't have the same hype that it had when it was running in 2017. Why is that? Well, because it was just straight parabolic in 2017. But you would think with it testing all-time highs that people would be talking about it again. I mean, everyone and their mother was talking about it. You had the news. You had... you. My mom literally was talking about Bitcoin. What? And now I, I think if this breaks out that hype is going to come back. I really do. I'm a firm believer of that. I think the technology, you know, the blockchain technology is much more applicable and I, I guess just like more heavily used right now. I think it's being used enough to justify the price of where Bitcoin is and will be. And if it breaks out, I think we're going to get that hype coming back. I think it was Citibank, don't quote me on that, that put a price target of Bitcoin at $160,000 a coin by the end of 2021. Can you imagine if Bitcoin was near $200,000 a coin? That's another 1,000% from where it's at now. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I really just think that this is the hype that we will need to really continue that momentum into 2021. I think there's a lot of potential already, right? We're already coming off of a hot market and more traders than ever are in the market. But if we want another really hot, long-lasting sector, I think it's going to be Bitcoin. A lot of the Bitcoin stocks are beaten down, beaten down relative to their all-time highs, despite how high Bitcoin is right now. And I, I just think this is what we're going to need to really continue that momo. But let me know in the comments, do you guys think, one, do you think Bitcoin is going to break out? Do you think we're going to get the same hype coming with Bitcoin if it does break out? And do you think that this is the sector that will really continue the momentum into 2021? Because and yeah, let's get into it. 2021 is already looking promising, guys. I will see you back here on Friday, hopefully with more Bitcoin news. If not, I've got another fun treat for you. See you then.